So preparation is such a key in getting ready for any hunt, obviously. But as we went out to South Dakota for our very first time, we were hosted by a friend of ours, uh, Matt Hoffmeyer, and he took us to uh, a special place, a special ranch that friends of his own is a cattle working cattle ranch out in uh, Harding, South Dakota area, that county. And the, the entirety of uh, this hunt for me was brand new. I'd never been out west. I'd never seen anything like this for the first time. And so three years ago, as we were heading out there, I'm mesmerized by everything that I'm seeing. As I'm walking out the first morning, even just seeing the vastness of that land and dotted throughout the landscape are these pronghorn that we're about to chase. Now, the idea of an archery pronghorn hunt, a pronghorn hunt where uh, we're gonna decoy, not sit by a water hole, but we're gonna decoy them in, to me, it just sounds incredibly fascinating and you know, feeds more into my style of what I wanted to see and what I wanted to experience out there. And then this year, we wanted to up that game a little bit, bring the camera along, and try to capture the experience to the best of our ability. There's stock after stock after stock that doesn't play out you know, the scenario's not right. And some of these stalks are literally um, two and three miles that you walk out, you see a giant buck and you walk all the way out uh, to try to make a play on them with the decoy. And for whatever reason, whether it's the does that spook or the buck just doesn't feel the threat from that decoy like we're wanting him to, they take off and run the other way. And the reality of that is, is that then you're now two and a half miles out and you walk two and a half miles back to the truck and you kind of regroup and you go and find the next buck and try it again. In this hunt specifically, this buck is uh, at first around 680 yards away, sees our decoy and starts moving towards us. And you know, you're hopeful, but still so far out of range that you're kind of like, well, he'll probably just veer off like the other ones had all morning. I'm coming up right behind it. Yep, they're coming up behind it right now. Should we decoy up? Enough of these ravines and watersheds to be, you know, we're hunting pronghorn, but that muley might be right there. So all we can do is hope. Just go. Another hundred yards. He's trying to decide right now. Is he, is he big? He's giant. Oh, here they come. Here he comes. Here he comes. Stay here. Get inside. Get inside. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Guys, he's coming hard. He's coming hard. Good shot. Good shot, baby. Good shot. That's a lot of blood, dude. Here he goes. He's going down. He's going down. Give him a second. Give him a second. He's going down. He's going down. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, 
moment every ball hunter looks forward to. First animal with a sick brow head right behind the shoulder. Hit him just in front on the chest as he was facing too. As you can see, it did the trick. What an amazing animal. Look at that, boys. <laughs> Dude, that could not have been more perfect. He decoyed amazing. Came all the way across, probably 400 yards, just to get us a shot. Stopped at 64 yards. Pretty incredible. Thank you, buddy. Just an insane blessing. These are the types of moments that I, as a bow hunter, absolutely live for, to be able to experience nature in this way with my close friends, with my boys, and to be blessed in that opportunity uh, is something that I, I just can't even fathom. It's hard to put into words at times. And that's the, the coolest part of uh, South Dakota for us, is being able to chase these, these bucks with our bows.